What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here and in today's video uh, we are going to go over a complete guide to Facebook advertising. Over the next six or seven days we're going to do a video every single day, 1 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I'm going to come up with a new video. We're going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to get your Facebook account up and running, create your first successful ad. We're going to go over Facebook reporting, optimization, Facebook ad types, how to pause, delete, uh, cancel your ads, how to do a lot of special things within Facebook. So in today's video, I'm going to go over how to set up your Facebook ad account, your business manager, and everything that that entails. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you'll need to do to set up your Facebook account would be to create a business manager. Now everybody, uh, knowing it or not, you have an ad account attached to your personal account. What I would do if you are a real estate agent, if you've got a local business, even if you um, have a digital marketing agency, if you've got a consultant business, whatever you're doing, you should create a business manager a Facebook business page and a business ad account. Those three things need to happen to set up your Facebook ad account properly and you know use Facebook to its fullest potential. So you can go over what actually business manager is doing for you, why you need it, the benefits of it. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to get going here. So we're going to click on create account. And then from here, you'll go through all of these, right? So I'm just going to call this Adam Middlesworth, my name. I'm just going to say this example at adammiddlesworth.com. Click next here and go through all of this. We're just going to say one, two, three, Main Street. Um, nope, Dallas, Texas. Uh, let's do for website, fill out all of this information. I live in the US. Okay, so let's see if this will let me do that. Submit here and let's see what this pops up. So this has been created. You've got to go to your email to set all of that up. And then from here we want to add a page, add an ad account. Um, what I'm going to do here is switch over to my real account because this is actually a dummy account. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is obviously add your business page. If you've not made that again, I've got a video in the link below to uh, show you how to go and create a Facebook business page. We're going to click add page here, add page again. If this is your own page, so if, if you've got your own real estate business, mortgage business, or if you've got your own local business, you'll click on this and then add this page. If you're managing somebody else's, you'll want to request access for them. If you don't have a page at all, you want to create a page here. So we're just going to click on this because I've already got one. We're just going to use this one. Hopefully this works. We're going to click add page. Sweet. I've added that page. The next thing we need to do is go and add an ad account. So click on ad account. And then again, if you've got your own ad account, uh, you can click on ad account. What I would do here um, is create your new ad account which with your business uh, ad account stuff, right? So that you can kind of separate your personal and your business. Um, and then you can actually go and create two more uh, ad accounts just in case something happens. If you're managing somebody else's, you'll want to request access to theirs. All you'll need is their Facebook ad account ID number. So we're going to click on create ad account here. We're just going to call this, um, let's call it Adam um, Digital Marketing. And we will create ad account there. Then from here, you know, you're going to choose this, right? So you're going to actually manage the ad account. That's you. You want to select the person, which is also you, to be assigned to that ad account. So manage the ad account admin access you need to click on this toggle and then you go and need to uh, click the person as well and assign that and then close and then boom you've got your page you've got your ad account um, I would call that both of them whatever it is right Adam Middlesworth real estate 
Um, if you've got a, a local business that's a gym or whatever, you would call it, you know, one, two, three Dallas Fitness. That would be what you're doing there, right? And then you, if you have employees, um, say if you've got, if you're a real estate agent and you have uh, an admin or something, you want to go and add people. Just go here. You can type in their email, whatever they use uh, for Facebook, and then you can add them there. You give them admin access or employee access or whatever you want to do there. The next thing that you'll need to do is go to settings and figure all of that out, right? So go click on the top left here. Go to all tools. Go to business, the settings here. Go to settings. This is where you're going to choose, you know, all of your payment information. Um, and all of that stuff. So on the left here, choose payment information, uh, add payment method. You can set an account spending limit. I wouldn't do that, but you can do that if you want. Choose notifications, what you want to get notified of. You want your ad summaries. Do you want to know when something is up for review? Do you want to know what's happening in your ad account? If you've got an ad account that's been uh, denied or if you need an account settled or whatever, you can go and check these boxes here, right? Whatever you want to be notified of, go and check them and save that. You also want to do that for uh, some of your pages. You want to go in here and add those. Um, and then you can go into those specific pages and go and, and do all of the settings there. We're going to go back here. So you've got your, your business manager set up, you've got your ad account tied to that business manager, you've got your business page tied to that business manager. The next thing you'll do is need to go into business settings and just check it all out, right? Just work your way around business manager, find what you're doing there. Um, this is where you can see an overview. If you wanna go and add different pages, you'd come here, you can add another page, whether it's a page that you own, if you uh, have a digital marketing agency and you want to request access to a page, you use that. Same thing with the ad accounts. If you want to go and add more, you can do that. Uh, what I would recommend for every business is to go out and create new uh, ad accounts. So I would just call this Adam Middlesworth Digital Marketing, or I'll just call it Adam Middlesworth or Adam Digital Marketing. To, right create ad account and I'll go and create as many as they allow you to at the beginning they might just allow you to do one but eventually they'll allow you to do two three four five ad accounts and the reason you want to do that is because if one gets shut down then you're you're not um, in the dark there and since we already created an ad account on this business manager you also have a personal ad account that you can go and add so if you go to just facebook.com uh, Facebook slash manager. So if you go to facebook.com slash ads slash manager here, see if the this lets me do it. So this should be under your, per, if you see your personal profile, you should see your personal ad account. I don't want to show you that. I'll go away from that, but um, you should be able to see that ad account number and you should be able to go and add that ad account, right? Request access, choose the page you want to request access from. Oh, sorry, I'm on, no, that's right. Request access to ad account. Choose this, choose next. That's basically the page that you're gonna run from, right? And then you just choose whatever it is, eight, six, blah, blah, blah. And then you wanna be an admin of that too. Click confirm. And then if you go to facebook.com, you should have a notification for that ad account. So then you have your personal ad account in here, which is fine. And then you've got your business ad account in here. So if your business account ever gets flagged for whatever reason, um, you know something silly that Facebook bans you for or whatever, you're not um, out of business, right? You have your personal ad account that you can go and run from. And it's also important to have a business manager so that you can have pixels, right? You've got these pixels in here that you can share. I've got a video on that. I'll link that below as well. Um, but this is step one in the complete guide to Facebook advertising. In tomorrow's video at 1 p.m. Central, remember I'm coming up with a new video every single day on Facebook advertising. In the next video, I'm gonna go over Facebook ad types, what to do there, and in future videos, we're gonna go over and create your, your very first successful Facebook ad campaign, and we're gonna go A to Z Facebook ads in this complete guide. So if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.